So today I'm gonna do an unboxing video and it's gonna be of this which comes from Kendama Europe. So I'm really really excited to do this but uh, first I will have myself a cup of tea and just catch up with a couple of the YouTube videos I haven't been seeing and then time for unboxing. Alright just want to show you that the new tripod actually quite well holds the um, my 600D uh, I'm about to start filming the unboxing of um, the package I had from Kendama, the DE. And um, I didn't have a table. If you look here, how this screen's going to be, um, I didn't have anything I could really use. So I went ahead and took my laundry bin and decided to use that instead. <laughs> so that's how it's going to look. But really um, excited to do this, and uh, I'm just using a lot of lights, I haven't really got any lights, so I'm just using whatever lights I have, like a desk lamp there, and that one up here will get more white by just clicking the blue there and dim down the lights. So it's more white, and I can also switch my light up like this and take the chair away to don't get any shades. And that should probably give a little bit more, um, but I came to think that I want to use two cameras. I'm going to use this one here to record me standing there. And I'm going to actually kind of take this tripod off and use my larger one for this one. And put this camera here, like you're watching now, put that down here so you can have like a, a view of the table. But I'm going to use that tripod for that. So I'm going to do a switch over now and take my other tripod. Uh, the reason why I don't use the other tripod very often is that it's A, very, very heavy. Uh, it's quite a chunky one. And secondly, one of the legs is broken. So that can't tighten, which is a little bit annoying. Whoa, crazy. But this is my other one. There's an old one I had free of charge. Um, it's quite a good one though, but this has, it's kind of broken several places. So anyways, um, I'm going to change the camera around now and put the big camera on the big tripod and just one on the little tripod. So, <laughs> yeah. So done with filming and just dimming all the lights down again. I don't need to have all these lights on right now. Yeah, I got my Play Kendama here, um, which is really, really a cool Kendama. One thing I gotta get used to though, it's very, very slippy. The ball is really, really, like, very, very, it's like, the cups are perfect, because you can see how solid it just stays in there. Um, it doesn't just fall out, it really is a nice, perfect fit, you can see, else you wouldn't be able to do that much. Um, so I'm really, really excited to get to use this a lot more and get to know it better. Um, so you can see I'm already getting a little bit of the hang of it. Um, I gotta say one thing, if I have to come with some criticism, I think the string is a little bit flimsy. Um, that's the only thing I, I can actually put my hand on right now. I think the ball is perfect. Paint job is good. I've been painting for about five minutes and hardly any dents in it and not even any scratch of paint so it feels really really nice um, from what I can remember feeling the Mugen that Alessa had just touching it briefly um, it's very much similar to the same feel of the paint but yeah and it comes with this awesome booklet here um, just tells you a little bit about the product and stuff and come different countries uh, languages and it even has some some trick guides in in here so you can see what you can do which is cool gotta get used to it being so slippy I'm not used to that because this is really really Really, really smooth. I mean, it's just really, 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 it's really. <laughs> Whoa, guys, just sitting here and uh, checking out some stuff on the internet. And I was like, so sad that the, the trade with the penny ball didn't go through. And I still haven't seen the other one I supposed to get from the other trade I'm doing. Um, so I'm just in looking and I just noticed, oh my gosh, that um, Penny has released a tie dye deck. I was like, oh. I won that! That was really so cool. Fortunately it's sold out, um, which is sad. But I was just like, look at this. It's a tie-dye deck. Um, the only thing I was a little bit disappointed with it was it's only on the bottom uh, where you could see the tie-dye. I thought it would go all the way through, like uh, when they had the marble effect. Um, but still, it's cool. It's tie-dye. I love tie-dye. I still love to get um, a penny board. As I mentioned, the trade I'm, I wanted to do with that other deck, which, which is like a Brand new. Um, it was. It wasn't really used. It wasn't used or anything like that. Probably the one I was supposed to trade with was this one here, which I think is really really cool. I like that. Um, unfortunately, that didn't go through. But I still have my mold, uh, a stack of veneers, um, 
what was it, five normal decks and three split plies. And split plies are custom made, so it's just like, um, there's not two others the same. And then, um, and also a pair of uh, trucks and bearing wheels and some tuning and of course a piece of tape and stuff. That was all the stuff I put up for a trade for a penny board and that trade is still going if anyone will be up to it. Um, I love to trade with a penny board, it can be used but preferably as new looking as possible. Um, I would really love to get a new one. The moulds I have is my own mould, it's the one I made my decks from and um, there's not two molds exactly like it, so you will be able to sell them as your own customized decks and if you want to do that. There's quite a lot of stuff for um, for getting um, a, a penny board. I mean, there's, there's, there's more value in that um, for the decks. The decks themselves, normal deck goes, split ply goes for like $30-$35. Um, so already there you got like oh, close to $100 which is that and then the mold comes on top and some veneers and wheels and all that so if anyone out there wants to do the trade um, with a, a penny board I prefer a brand new one and if you're willing to do it hit me up and let me know um, if you want to do the trade and what you do is just apparently buy the deck and just buy the penny and send it to me and um, and I'll make sure you send you the package as soon as I get the receipt that you bought the deck and ship it out to me so I just took the tape off my old deck um, and someone asked what it's like, the pop in it. Um, it's a very good pop and you can hear it. it's really really stiff so it hasn't lost anything. It's a very very good deck and it even says Zilli on it. I will clean off the sticky residue here and um, but you can see the clear coat on it, it's nice and it, got, it hasn't got any scratches, uh, it's just perfect. So. Alright guys, I'm kind of getting used to this new Kendama here. Um, it's really really sleepy, that's the only thing I'm having a hard time with. And um, But mostly everything else is really great. There you go, a short snippet of a video which is being uploaded. Um, I don't want to show you too much, because it's going up on another friend of mine's channel, and uh, when we get to there, I will let you know. He's doing an advent calendar, and it's really, really cool, so if you want to check it out, go and look at the Swedish lad, in one word, on YouTube. Um, he is the one doing um, the video, and I'm going to be in one of the um, in one of the days. He's like a Christmas calendar, so every, every day in December, there's going to be a new one. And also, I changed the string here on my um, pill. I'm going to bring that on Saturday if I am going to um, to uh, the Kadama meetup. This one here, I love. It's the ball again. I played with it like quite a bit, and it hardly got hardly got a dent, and it hasn't chipped or anything yet. So that's really really awesome. Good quality uh, paint they're using these, and the weight of the ball is just really really nice. It's got some good good weight to it, and the the tam as well. Sorry, the can as well is so so cool. Um, the only thing I I'm mean, still getting used to is because it's such a dark color and. I don't know why I'm not very good at seeing stuff when it's dark, so probably maybe I will consider using the yellow or the, the white one. Probably the white, because I really like the white one, um, for next week. But I, th I thought this one was a cool colour to start with, but again, I forgot to think about me and my eyes about dark stuff. Again, it's stupid because that uh, sweet kinema I have is also a black one. <laughs> Um, so I, I need to get some better color ones. That's why I really want to have the neon pink and neon yellow of the uh, USA Kandamas. Alright, um, I will, um, 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 um. Did I show you this? <laughs> I bought this little plunger and it's so funny and, um, it was, um, it was in the shop. Yesterday when I was there and I just thought oh, I got to have it because I think it's funny and it was cheap. The problem with this guy, is I've seen companies who sell this this little thing and they call it the eye plunger and what it is then you can stick it on your eye from the back and it'll suck and they can just it can be used like people buy it and they sell it as like a foot it'll sit like that on the back and support the phone um, but I've seen those when they first came out these are eye plungers apparently uh, because this here is exactly the same it probably made in the same factory but the eye plunger has a nice packaging and uh, that goes for about, I think it was $10, $15 I saw this for as an eye plunger on the internet. But this here I bought for about $1. <laughs> uh, because it hasn't got all that fantastic name, but it's exactly the same product. Um, I'm guaranteeing you win. And I tested it, it works exactly on that one. 
So keep your eye out for stuff. Don't go and buy just a name. Um, and you probably say, well, Mike, you got a Mac, you better pay for the name. No, for me, a Mac is the ideal system. It works for me, it's what I need, and therefore I'm willing to pay for it. When I had Windows, um, it mostly worked all the time, but it just kept um, stuff like uh, videos, things, and so it's just kept not running very, very good for me. And uh, I gotta admit, I like the Mac um, iOS instead. I like that better. Uh, it works for me. Uh, I'm not hating on Windows. I'm just saying the Mac is better for me. It's better for my use. And uh, where someone else is out there and saying, well, Windows is better for their use, and that's perfect. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't know really what to do anymore today, so. I think I am going to have a shower and go to bed and plunge my head and wow, that didn't want to sit. It used to sit there. There we go. No, it's falling off. Strange. My head is not plungeable. There we go. Can we get some poop out of my head? <laughs> Alright guys, but I am gonna switch off tonight, so I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Take good care, love you all, you're all awesome and epic, and uh, please go and vote for me in the Facebook competition because we need some more and the video about the giveaway is going to be up shortly. There's also going to come another giveaway up, um, which is going to be the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. And I'm almost on 10,500 something now. So that is awesome, guys. You are the best out there. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.